Silver's on the scene. Hope everyone's doing great. Today is Sunday, September 22. Seven months ago today, starting at 6.30. So about 6.30 p.m. Sebastian went missing between 6.30 p.m. and tomorrow, 6.30 a.m. Seven months, ladies and gentlemen. Say his name, Sebastian Rogers. 15 years old, missing from his home in Hendersonville seven months and i am in hendersonville still in hendersonville searching now i'm at drake's creek at mary's magical place and why am i here so i have been here this will be the third time i've been here but the last time i was here i'll explain later as we go through the as we go through the um video but something happened here that has led me back so i need to check this to to just make me feel better about what i experienced so join us here we go we're going in searching for sebastian okay so back as we said we're at drake's creek and silver oh see that just pull yourself up if it happens so silver's two is with me I'm gonna need her help where we're going. Um, as I said, I'll tell later in the video, I just wanna clear this spot out to clear my conscience. You good? 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 That's okay. Did you get a scratch? Okay, so I'm trying to think what our best route will be. Um, so I'm trying to get back to a location and I don't know exactly how to get there. Just let me do this. You can just stay there for a minute. So when you walk through here, mainly focus on, come on over, mainly focus on these trees. Just try not to put a heavy foot down. You know what I mean? Just try to keep your foot light. So I believe we're going in this direction. This will lead us where we're going. Stay tuned, more to come. <clears throat> okay, it's Drake's Creek. And we're back. Like I said, this is the third visit for me. Visit one, I stayed outside the tree line. When I came back the second time, I came down here. Thoughts and theories being that even though this has been searched, that maybe something would have happened and somebody could have brought Sebastian back over here. And then something happened to me while I was here, so I'm back. And we have a we have a mattress here or something. We have a Okay, when you get up here, you can help me. This is why I need you here. Silver's two is boots on the ground today. Let's give an applause for Silvers too. And that's our spot over there, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. See this? We got a pillow here. Look at Silvers too. Hiking. So just stay focused on that. I'm gonna see why a pillow is here. Wow. Question is what's behind the pillow? That's what we're trying to do. You see something run out in front. We almost got it. And there you go. It's actually a it's actually a pillow from a couch. Mm -hmm. It's a sofa or love seat pillow case. Shine it there, but see, there's nothing there. So, we got that cleared out, nothing behind it, nothing in there. So, you can see right there is some tennis courts and Mary's magical place. So, right here, as I was leaving last time, something oh god. You can see what I did. This was actually the first time that I had ever dug anything, okay? 
we have a trash bag or some kind of tarp here i'm just noticing for the first time right here is where i was digging that flower's kind of gone too but this spot was very has been on my mind ever since i've been here and i didn't recognize something i believe when i was here the first time so that's why i'm back so i'm gonna cut camera we'll be right back so just to give you an idea this is what i've dug there's been leaves since i've been here last had an experience here if you watch the video you can see it i'll just say it was that an experience i asked sebastian for help i don't know what i'm doing in that arena but i feel like he's trying to help me i stood right here and i waved at silvers too and i was yelling at her she said she couldn't understand me but more importantly she couldn't see me but ladies and gentlemen i could see her you can see i'm above that but she couldn't see me so if you're in here whether you took off on your own or whether someone brought you here i mean i feel comfortable that i could allegedly in my opinion put a body right here and no one see that i'm doing so so we're gonna we're gonna dig let's just get to it you just come over here and just focus on the hole there silvers doesn't need to be seen He's silver's on the scene, not silver's wanting to be seen. So we're looking for Sebastian. That's all it's about. Fun, if you're here, we're coming for you. It's like seashells almost. You see that? Mm -hmm. The sound is really soft, which I like from a digging standpoint. You know, I'm bringing out my sister here. She saw me digging here on the other video, and her first words were, you need your nephews. <laughs> I'm not a digger, I'll admit it. So we got roots in it now. Um, I'm just doing the best. What is this? If you smell the dirt, I can smell the fish. Mm -hmm. This is about where I got. Push a little bit. Last time. I've been told, I said in the video yesterday, you'll see later today, that, uh, to follow my feelings, because I'm a very logical thinker. And uh, I think maybe I should have followed them last time I was here, but we're here now, so. Uh, well, as I said in the video last time, this appears to me ma uh, nature made with the creek and the water's rising and this is nature made but at the same time it also looks like you know a mound so keep going fresh dirt like I smell roots here and that starts to make me think if I'm breaking those roots up yep. more than likely no one else has been here see that I'm getting stuck by a root today mm -hmm. I try to bring dirt up I told you guys I'm out of shape. I got my coffee and breakfast sandwich, but I'm still taking a little break. See, one thing I thought about is under here. Like if you were trying to hide. Under there. The flower. It was right in here somewhere. It's gone. But no one's been here. I mean, this is just the top. Right? So there's another area that looks the same up there, see? Mm -hmm. I think it's how the water comes through. Mm -hmm.
there's another so can you see this ladies jump see this right here i bring this up for a reason i know sometimes people think i even think myself sometimes i don't dig enough well here's my logic behind it back to the logic thinking right mm -hmm. is if i go down far enough in one spot if a body was here be that sebastian or anyone else allegedly in my opinion be that anyone they couldn't cover this area without us seeing them in this middle area now here's the point of the story silver's two if you can see right here i'm putting my right there is a is a untouched branch mm -hmm. it's intact i have to dig through it to keep going further now here's my thinking if someone had been put here or someone laid here and got covered up by this mound you know that wouldn't be intact especially yeah. if someone was digging because as you see i have to break through it and it still grabs me see it yeah. it's grabbing me so for me to go under any further and yeah i'm out of shape and yeah i want to stop digging when i can but i'm trying to find sebastian we're trying to find sebastian i'll dig all day but logical thinking tells you that is now cut because i just cut it but with it not being cut it's still grabbing me i still haven't cut it look at that now it's cut so see now it's cut but since it wasn't there's no way you could bury something here without having to cut that so i know i had a weird experience here i had a feeling here do one more thing i'm gonna come off this part and go to this part my experience is right there so let me just take it over here and fill this up what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start here yeah and silver too had told me that day that she could hear me shoveling you can hear the, the, the shovel hitting these rocks. You can hear that, but you couldn't see me. Plus that day, one thing I never said, is I felt like I kept walking in circles here. Ending up at this spot. So anyway, all that being said, I had to come back. Let's see if I missed something. We got that dirt smell again, so we're getting fresh dirt. We're getting away from the and look more roots more roots what is that right see this when you see stuff like that okay you see stuff like that and it's a rock but the color of it bone the cavity like an eye socket or something I hate to be too graphic but you see stuff like that you want to but I see look at this again I'm being stuck by roots so let me show you that another root that I had to bust so let me cut camera we'll be back okay so I'm back Drake's Creek Mary's Magical Place and you know I don't like I don't consider myself really ever disappointed I'm always positive and upbeat but had a strong feeling back at that spot it did not work out and like i said i don't want to use the term disappointed but i actually thought maybe maybe we're going to find something something to bring us closer to sebastian and bring him home um so yeah look here's wow, that's like that I thought that was like a deer head. It's actually some kind of metal thing. Because if you remember the last time I was here too, one of the things right here, deer bones, right? Deer bones. Scared me really bad because I thought it was human bones at first. So I just wanted to see if those were still around. Yeah, you still have the, you still have the uh, vertebra right there of a deer i don't know if that can seem right but i'll get up close on it still here so i just want to see i don't know what 
took care of that deer. I don't really want to find out. Just wanted to come back here this way because this is where I was last time. And there's the drainage from the Marys. And so, all right. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go to another location. Much like we were doing in Horn Lake. Today is Hendersonville. And uh, we're going to continue looking for Sebastian throughout Hendersonville, multiple locations, maybe north a little bit of Hendersonville. And uh, so we cleared this spot, second time cleared. I cleared it the last time I thought, but I had that, that feeling I'm trying to I'm trying to go with my feelings more and um anyway so we're looking for sebastian rogers say his name say his name say his name sebastian wayne drake rogers um keep it out in the universe keep it keep the awareness alive you saw in my last video i met up with terry lynn she's great she, who, no one keeps the awareness alive more than her and uh Later today, I should be with her as well, looking at some other spots. But So we're going to finish up here with Drake's Creek at Mary's Magical Place. And just <clears throat> what that is, just a little something, flag or something. But yes, just, uh, just go through the town, different spots. Places he may have gotten away to or taken to, allegedly, in my opinion. So, yeah, look at that right there. What part of the deer is that? Look at that. That's crazy. Kill for something? Okay, so, as always, with Silver's on the scene, appreciate all the support. Stay tuned. More to come. The Silver's on the scene, and I'm back at the uh, Warshons General Store, so, give you a lay of the land. Sebastian's home is right over there, just right over there, about a mile, with his high school in between, the cemetery, the new subdivision. So take a look here, this is great. Keep the awareness alive, Sebastian Wayne, Drake Rogers, 110 pounds, 15 years old, five feet five, 1-800 TBI fine. Just call 911, call the authorities. We're looking for you. So we're back here and the reason I'm back here is I just want to get, we talked about doing same locations, different town. Well, this is the same location, same town. I just want to get a kind of a second look through of this um, feeling I had last time, similar to what I just did over at Mary's Magical Place. You know, that's about 5.5 miles from here, 5.2 miles from his home. So just a little bit outside the search radius. This obviously is within the search radius. But if Sebastian left his home allegedly on his own, he could have come here on his way to wherever he may have been going and, uh, you know, gotten hurt or whatever. So I just want to walk it again. This is also where uh, one of the subs uh, actually found the, uh, or saw the, what could be a diaper. So I haven't had a chance to get back since. I got that on video, so I'm gonna go check that too. Remember, there's a car here. So this looks a lot, I've got better boots too, but this looks a lot better than what I came through last time. So I'm locking that. Pretty easy access straight into, straight into this area. And uh, there were some stray cats running around too, probably because of the general store and they probably sell food of some sort. Cats looking for food and all that. Anyway, I'm going to go down this way. Looks like it'll be easier to drop down into the creek bed. Some, like clothes or something there. So many things are out here. It's like one of the first times I came here, it was like part of a, maybe like a, well, that's part of a car. Jeez. Okay, another piece of a car. Um, yeah, just give you a little. Oh, you see the car right there? There's a the car. 
okay that looks like it's been here a while but yeah so that way is a uh, long hollow pike long hollow church there it runs if you go this way as i'm turning the camera back to sebastian's house about a mile and then in between his house and here you'd have the cemetery the new subdivision his his uh, high school okay drake's creek again last time was at mary's magical place this time warsham's the best way to describe where i'm at um i think what i'm gonna do here is go back up i'm gonna go back up this way and walk back through there uh i want to get to the car remember last time i was talking about how the plastic bags are like ghosts almost something orange in the water you know I, let me just try this because i've got on waterproof oh look at silvers Ooh, look at this yeah, they are waterproof oh i'm dangerous now okay so i just come straight through it quickest point quickest quickest distance between two points is a straight line but there's just so much stuff out here that gets tossed off from up there like a trash place but here, here we are at the car so let's let's get to business here we're looking for sebastian and this car i mean you can tell has been here forever um i don't see how he could be underneath here you know there's really no room let's go around to what we saw and i do admit it does look like a diaper so let's take a look at that and see if we're seeing that what we've got in here so what we've got right here Looks like a looks like a toy of some sort. I see. Is that a shoe? What is that? Is that something to do with the car? Okay, so I believe I believe that diaper was right here, and ladies and gentlemen, it's gone. Gone. It's right here. I have to review my video, but it was right here. What is this? Right here? What is that? What is that? What is that? Y'all see that? I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can see that from the other side. Is it something to do with the car? Okay, I'm gonna cut camera. I'll be right. You see in here, I, I was looking at something that I thought actually looked like be honest with you, I thought it was like teeth, but it's part of the car. Nothing human. I just want to show that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to sum up the car with this. I, you know, I see some what might be clothing on there, but it's... I just don't know how you... I can't move this, like there's just no way of moving that. And, uh, it just not moved, this car's been here a minute. So, but the thing about this car, the only suspect thing that gets me is, there was something here. It was noticed by a subscriber or at least someone who was watching the video the last time I was here 
and it did appear to be a diaper and it was right here and it's not here anymore I, I don't know what that means I don't want to speculate or anything like that I'm just saying it's not here anymore who would come get a diaper right we couldn't get it down for, but I don't see anyone getting up under here. I don't see anyone uh, being able to move this. I'll show you just so you know. I mean, what's this? It's it doesn't it doesn't go. It just doesn't go. And for him to crawl up under there, I just don't see, or even to be placed there. So I'm gonna walk down some more here. We'll cut camera. I'll be right back. So I don't know how many of you remember this rope. I know there's been a couple of comments on the rope. It was into the ground, looked in a circular fashion. I just pulled on it. It's actually a lot longer than I thought, but not really connected to anything. Just some rope I guess someone threw away, but here it is up close. I mean, it does look like it's made into like a knot there. See that? But I don't know what I was expecting to find on it. If anything, but just wanted to show that nothing to it. So I'm gonna continue down the creek. More to come. Here's what I'm looking at. See that? Somebody tell me what that is. What is that? Is that just a growth? It's not a skull, is it? Is that a growth of some sort? There it is right there, look. Okay, we'll have to, I think it's a growth, like a plant growth or something. So I'm checking this area right in here. Now, I'm just below. Yeah, I think it's a growth of some sort, vegetation, a root or something. Okay, so I just happened to look down in there as you can see, I'm at the creek, Drake's Creek, and yeah, how weird is that? Uh, I don't remember that last time I was here. But uh, I'm here, and I come across this, and it looks big enough for a, a, a kid like Sebastian, who's thin, to crawl under there. I looked under there with my phone light, and I thought I saw something, so I came back and got my flashlight. And I think it's a root. Well, I tell you, like I showed the rock earlier, you know, when you're looking for stuff like this, you, anyway, you just have to clear out that you, uh, so now I feel good. I don't think he crawled up under there and passed, so. All right, cleared, more to come. Silver's on the sea. All right, servers on the scene, and I, you see the video I just showed where I thought I had something underneath a layer of concrete, if you will. There's another car right there, too. I'm gonna go look at that. Let's go look at that now. And then there's a spot right over here. Oh, perfect. I'm going to look at the car. And I want to go, let me show you this. I'm just all over the place. I've got two more spots to look at. That goes back somewhere. And then here. This comes down to here. Look at this. That's the storage building right up there. Don't know the name of it, but people were talking about allegedly seeing Chris's mom there. The morning Sebastian was reported missing. How creepy is this? How creepy is this? I'm not going to go up there and look down because. I've been told allegedly they're a little salty if you come around, so I don't want any trouble. I'm on public land here in the middle of the creek. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty views as I'm sitting for like I just started the art now. Yeah, check this out. It's almost like this was man-made, but it's not. Pretty. There's the storage building. So I'm gonna take a look over here to see if maybe Sebastian could have run off. Here's another area that goes probably the same place as that. Then we'll go up there and just cut across. I'm just gonna do this because I don't wanna go up there. Not after what I was told. And respect people's property, so. Just a bit as I keep forgetting I have this extension here. So, I don't know if this comes kind of right down to, so the washrooms is there, storage building is there, you can run right down through here, straight to the creek, look at that, easiest access I've seen. Okay, so I'm going to cut through here. I'm actually going to go through here because that's private property over there too. So you have to be careful with private property. I've said before, I'll say again, not about pri uh, privacy to a standpoint, you know, to a standpoint. But I don't want to just walk on someone's property. For one, I don't want to get shot. Maybe that's my biggest motivation. But for two, respect people's property. Look at this. How about a ravine? Talk about a. Wow. I was a kid. Great place to come play. Now I'm assuming this fills with water from time to time. That'd be trippy to see. Look at this though. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it all the way. Look at this. Yeah, let me put my other, I'm gonna put my other glove on just in case. Just in case. I don't know where I'm coming out. I'm whispering. I am whispering because uh, I don't know where I'm at. Now, I know the creek should be public, but at what point does it become private? Every time I see something white, it's grabbing my attention. I replied to the email about the white thing under the grill cover when Tammy and I found it. I'm sure it was just a plastic uh, bag or a piece of paper. Nothing, it wasn't a towel or clothes anything like that because I can tell you this if you watch the video Tammy's picking up on things as I go by them so it's obvious I could walk right by it or stand right in front of it she would have noticed it so again thank you Tammy for helping me uh, really appreciate it Tammy's good people Terry's good people Worked with her yesterday, gonna work with her some later today as well. So this just keeps going. Oh, wow. And I'm gonna cut back and I'm gonna tell you why. At this point, I'm for sure I'm on private property. And everybody can have a creek on their property, so I don't want. Like Silver's too said, she goes, it's one thing if someone talks to you, hey man, you're on my property, and get off. It's another if they just shoot. So, I'm from Georgia, 
so I understand just like Tennessee your property is your property so I will respect that so I'm gonna head back to the car now um, I feel comfortable now with what I especially looking underneath that rock the feelings I got here they do mean something I'm gonna go maybe just a little bit further than when I came in which is back towards back towards the bridge that crosses Long Hollow Pike I think it's called Long Hollow Pike yeah crosses over this creek so I'm gonna cut camera for now I'll be right back so I was on the scene and I'm coming from there going up here just cleared this strange ditch pipe I'll show you up there this is gosh I never can remember the name of this road so this is the road that goes by Warshams right there Long Hollow Pike I just never can remember the name of this road but I found myself up here to get down to this creek you see how steep it is if whatever reason Sebastian may have been running. And I know it's been looked at, but I thought I'd come and look and walk it. So I'm going to get over here because it's tough, tough terrain. And if you fall here, uh, there's some words I can think of. I don't know what I'm You're done, basically. But so. Silver's on the scene, on the road, I can't think of it. It worsens the zone, you see the general store up there. Coming back and checking out my concerns with Drake's Creek located here. And uh, I feel better and more comfortable. Found a few other places out there to check. Silver's two didn't leave me. And uh, we're gonna go find we're gonna go look a few other places as we continue our search never stop searching say his name say his name Sebastian Rogers Sebastian Rogers Sebastian Rogers all right Sebastian Rogers gone seven months tonight the early morning hours Seven months. Seven months. We're going to find you. More to come.